guys, I'm Madison Mary and welcome back to my channel. So today I have something super fun planned and that is to give you guys my top 5 shoujo manga recommendations. <laughs> So I'm going to be doing two sets of this. The first five are going to be shoujo mangas that you can purchase on Amazon.com if you live in the US. And the other five are going to be shoujo mangas that you can read online on the app called Manga Rock. And I use this app a lot. It's just an easy way to digitally read mangas online because Mangas can get very expensive and a lot of them aren't actually translated into English, instead there are just people out there who translate them themselves. Growing up it was like the biggest way that I ever read mangas and all of the times I will read them on there first and then if I enjoy them I will then buy the physical copy. Just to give you guys an idea, I'm going to give you my top five viable ones first. I already own this book but it's actually back at my parents place and this series is Kitchen Princess by Natsumi Ando. I have adored this series for years now. It's quite an old manga, but it is such a classic in my opinion. This manga follows Nojika. Years ago when she was a child, she was crying by a pond and a young boy came up to her and offered her a flan. And ever since then, she has wanted to find this mysterious boy. And the only clue she has is from that flan, there was a silver spoon with the word Seiko Academy on it. Two years later, Nojika is able to go to Seiko Academy as one of their new prospective culinary students. However, once she gets this school, she finds that she doesn't fit in as well as she had hoped. She piques the interest of not only the two most popular boys in school, but she's also not used to being in this new environment as she was born on the countryside. It's just an overall very sweet and cute manga. Halfway through the series, it is completed, I forget how many there are, I think there's like 12, and halfway through the series, book six, oh my god, <laughs> it rips your heart out. This series, the first six volumes are very light and shoujo -y, and the last six volumes are very emotional and just amazing. This is such an amazing, amazing book and it tackles a lot of different topics and Nojika is just this character who seems very naive but she's actually very headstrong and she has so much passion and power in her and I adore her. I'm also just a huge fan of Natsumi Ando's work. She is just someone who I, I just have always loved and I think that she's such a great mangaka. The next book I'm going to be talking to you guys about is one that a lot of people do know of and that is Waiting for Spring. This is about Mizuki. She doesn't really have any friends and hasn't been able to make any friends and then one day at the cafe that she works for, the four most popular boys who are part of the basketball team start coming there because one of the boys has a crush on the other co-worker there. And as time goes on, Mizuki starts to become friends with these four boys. A lot of things start ensuing. This is definitely one where it's a good mixture of the sport manga and the romance aspect of it. The romance in this is so cute. Mizuki doubts herself a lot and throughout this series you kind of see her grow into her own and I really enjoyed that. The next manga I'm going to be talking to you guys about is one that's becoming a lot more popular right... Okay, give me a sec, I have to go feed my cat. Come on! Ugh. Okay. Okay, so the next manga is one that's become a lot more popular just recently, but it's been out for a while. There is not only a live action of this, there is also an anime and I read this years ago, back before we even had physical copies, and it's so sweet to see, and that is Owl Hour Ride, and mm, it's such a cute, cute manga, and in this book we follow Futaba, and years ago when she was in middle school, she had a crush on this boy who she thought kind of liked her back, and then one day there was a big misunderstanding, and he stopped talking to her, and then his family moved away and she was kind of left very heartbroken from that. Now we follow her in high school and she has completely changed her whole demeanor because back in middle school she was this really sweet and cute girl and all the other girls were very jealous of her. So now in high school she has completely changed her image and there's this kind of rowdy girl and suddenly Tanaka-kun has actually come back to the school. However, he is very cold and heartless towards Futaba. He doesn't really want much to do with her. He thinks that she's just very fake. And you kind of see her trying to rekindle this relationship friendship that she had while also discovering who she is and her own friendships. One of the things I really do enjoy about this series is the idea of just being true to yourself and accepting who you are and not having to change for the people around you. Next one I'm going to talk to you guys about is a very short four book series that I own and it's just a very cute and fun one and that is Cactus Secret by Nana Haruta. I just love this one so much. It's such a strange name and a lot of people would definitely 
be like, mm, no. I think it's a really fun one because Captain Secret follows Miku who confessed to her childhood best friend and he thinks that she was just kidding and he blows it off as nothing. The series follows her trying to get him to realize that she is serious about him. It's just such a cute and fun manga and I, I really do enjoy this one. And it's only four volumes so it's easy to collect in my opinion. The last viable one that I'm gonna be talking to you guys about today is LDK. This is such a fun manga and it has my favorite, favorite manga trope in it and that is living together. <laughs> So we have Aoi and she lives in an apartment complex by herself and her next door neighbor is Shusei and he also lives by himself and they go to school together and he's kind of one of the most popular guys in the school. And then one day after a certain incident happens, the two of them end up having to live in the same apartment because she says is no longer livable. And it's really fun to see them living under the same roof. She thinks that he is just a very heartless guy and he just doesn't want anything to do with her because he blames her for them having to live under the same roof. Seeing them deal with having to live in this very small space together, they're keeping it a secret from the school. It's a really good one. Now I'm gonna get into the five mangas that you can read online. And I'm gonna start with an oldie but a goodie, and this is only four volumes, and that is AAA. This is probably one of the oldest mangas that I've read online. Not like old as in like it was made old, but it's just one that I've been reading for the longest and one that I continuously will reread just because it is such a cute manga and it never fails to make me smile and just love it. So in this we follow Aoi and she is the class president of her prestigious private school and she is part of the triple A class which is the highest class that you can be in. It shows that you're one of the smartest people. She met her first love during the entrance exams for this school when he gave her one of his pencils to use and ever since then she has just been kind of enamored by this mysterious boy who never actually ended up coming to the school and then one day she realizes that this boy that she had been crushing on is actually the gang leader of the school next door to them and the school next door to them is this rowdy delinquent school that everyone looks down upon and her first love is actually part of the triple c class which is the lowest level class and he is just a complete delinquent and it's such a fun fun book because she disguises herself to go over there as like a delinquent and it's just so great to see her falling for this guy that everyone thinks she shouldn't be with and it's just it's just so cute and I love it so much. If it's online so like just read it, it's free. To this day I wish I could own it physically because I adore it so much. So so much. The next one I'm gonna talk to you guys about is Hyokoi and this is such a cute one. So it's about a girl, her name is Hiyori. There's actually a short anime snippet of this that you can actually find online, so I'm going to leave that down below for you guys to watch. But Hiyori was in an accident before the first day of class, so she has been hospitalized since then and she finally gets to come back, but she is completely, completely afraid. She's tiny, everyone thinks that she's actually a middle schooler, not even a high schooler. It has to do with her being seated next to the tallest guy in the class, so you have this really funny dynamic of her being teeny weeny and him being super tall, and that's just cute in itself. He really wants her to kind of come out of her shell and make her feel welcome, and it's just a very sweet thing watching her kind of learn social skills and watching her learn to make friends and to not be so afraid of everything and it's just a really sweet one. The next one I'm talking to you guys about is a Rock in Heaven. So we follow Sawa who chose to go to a new school for her high school because they had really cute girl uniforms. However, once she gets there, she learns that this school up until this semester had been an all boys school. So she is one of only a handful of girls in this entire school. It's funny to watch her because she is a very headstrong, independent, speaks her mind kind of girl and she's in this class full of guys who are just rowdy and rude and all of the boys in the school take out everything on these girls because they don't think that the girl should be there. The school president also takes a lot of things out on her but he's also sweet to her sometimes and it's just that's an interesting thing. The next one I'm going to be talking to you guys about is Wolf Girl and Black Prince. This is one that's pretty well known just for the anime that is made of it because, let's be real, <laughs> it's so cool. I love it. So we follow Erika and she lies to her two best friends that she has a boyfriend and 
you know, every day she has her best friend call her during lunch and she pretends to take a phone call to speak with her boyfriend, even though he doesn't exist. And then while she's out and about one day in the city, she takes a photo of a random guy and then proceeds to tell her two best friends, oh look, this is the guy who's my boyfriend. And then it turns out this boy that she'd taken a photo of goes to her school and is considered the prince of her school. And she's like, crap. Erica goes to him and begs him to pretend to be her fake boyfriend just for a little while. And he says yes, but that's going to come at a cost. And it turns out that this princely guy is not as princely as he may have seemed. He is actually very rude and he bosses Erica around. And it's just very interesting seeing their whole dynamic. There are times where, you know, it is very unhealthy, but it does improve upon itself as the series goes on. And it's, it's one that I really do enjoy. The last manga I'm talking to you guys about is my favorite one out of everything that I've mentioned to you guys so far. And that is Switch Girl. I love this one so, so, so much. There is a live action TV show of it that's on a crunchy roll. There are two seasons and I have watched that TV show probably four times now. It is one of my most rewatched TV shows ever because I will never, ever, 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 ever get sick of it. And what I love so much about the live action is it's so close to how um, the manga is. I would recommend reading the manga and then watching it because it makes a lot more sense and it doesn't seem as weird <laughs> if you have read it. Switch Girl is about Nika and when she's at school she's the most popular, most beautiful girl and this is called her on mode. And then when she goes home she switches to her off mode in which she looks completely different. She I'm actually gonna put on the screen like her on mode and her off mode right here and it's it's kind of about how she has these two secret lives. It's her whole family can do this. Her, her mum and her older sister all have on and off modes that they use. Nika has to keep it a secret from everyone in her entire school about the fact that she has these two modes because she's built up her own reputation. And then we have Aratakun, who is the guy in her class that everyone's kind of just like, he's a weird otaku guy, like no one really wants anything to do with him. And then one day on the street while Nika is in her off form, she runs into a guy and it turns out he lives in the same apartment complex. So he just moved to this apartment complex and so she tells him that if he ever needs anything, just let her know and she's very chill. Then the next day at school, she comes to realize that uh, it was a Ratagun and that he also is an on and off mode. And he uses his off mode at school and his on mode out of school. So they're kind of two flip people and she's all freaked out. She's like, don't tell anyone about my secret. And he's like, that's fine. Like, don't tell anyone about mine. Like, I don't want attention while I'm at school. And it's really fun watching them kind of form this friendship. And it's such a hilarious manga. And it's so real. She talks about having to buy all this pretty lingerie so that when she gets changed in the change rooms and the girls look at her, they're like, oh my god, Nika wears such nice, like, panties. I hate that word. I don't know why I said it. Then she goes home and she spends her time every night playing video games until like the crack of the morning and oh my god, I just love it so much. It is, <laughs> it is one of my favourite ones ever. I highly, 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 highly recommend it. But yeah, those are my five and five shoujo manga recommendations. If you guys have read any of these, let me know down below. I do have more recommendations, so if you guys want to hear any more, let me know and give this video a like. If you guys want to see more of me, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, thanks a bunch, guys. Bye!